guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a module part two video. The living room is my second most used place after the bedroom. I use a remote system for my lighting, which is my favorite in my top 10 favorite products in the whole house. I keep it behind the end table so that I don't have to leave it on the end table and I don't have to put it away as well. So on this end table, I just keep my diffuser and maybe a drink and occasionally I'll put a little milk bottle with a flower in it, but it's very convenient to have a place to put your drinks. I keep my bedroom very white, but in the living room, I didn't want it to be too white because I wanted the guests to feel like they were at home. So I do like neutral colors, so I kept the palette neutral, but I did want it to feel like people can relax in here and not feel like they're going to knock something over or dirty something. I really like keeping candles and plants in the living room. It just gives the nice feel to bring the outdoors in. It also purifies the air. Hey guys, welcome to the living room. As soon as you walk in, you will see the coupon organizer to the right, which I keep all of my coupons and gift cards, things that need to be mailed out immediately in this organizer. It's a magnetic organizer and it's really cool. I use my mighty magnets as I use in the kitchen on there. And then over here, we just have the beautiful chocolate couch which I got at Lazy Boy and I was very particular on the couch I wanted one that was extremely comfortable comfort over look I wanted one that was dark and easy to maintain I found that little skinny table on overstock and I really like it because I needed something very small for the space but I wanted somewhere to put my drinks so the reason why I picked out this couch is so I wouldn't need an ottoman and I used to have a rug on the floor but unfortunately my cat really dislikes rugs rugs so for now no rugs but if you are going to get a rug it is great for the kids to play on and it also adds a pop of color to the living room and there is my West Elm mirror and my lamp that I got off of Amazon and also my humidifier which I got off Amazon and I keep it underneath that area when it's not in use this beautiful mirror I got off Pottery Barn there you can see my modules in the back over there. Something that I wanted to show you is this cord box organizer. I own two and I've made one myself, but that's for another video, but I will link it below because that is the number one way to keep your cords organized and corralled. They look so messy back there, but now they actually look pretty clean. Back here behind the table, I have the remote that I put up with command strips. Surprise, surprise. If you've been following my channel, you know I use command strips like mad. I can turn off all of the lights in the living room or turn them all on at once with this remote. And so I don't ever pull it off there, but I could if I wanted to because that's a Velcro strip. So back here behind the couch, I keep my network attached storage box, which is really essential if you're making YouTube videos. When the guests come over, I will lay out a faux fur blanket or I will grab out the blankets in that basket over there. And I picked out a really skinny little basket so that I could just dump my two living room blankets whenever I want to. But I prefer using blankets as a pop of color on the couch than pillows because pillows seem to get in the way for me. And I don't ever need them because this couch goes back. And this dresser used to be my dresser in the bedroom, but it was just too big. And so I use it now as a TV stand, but it used to be a light color and it, I painted it blue. And I picked out these knobs, these clear knobs that really turned out really well. I like the way that it looks. Here in this center, I keep all of the rest of my modules. I got rid of all of my DVDs and just use the Plex now. And here are my BE letters and I got a clock off Amazon that did not tick because I don't like the ticking sound of clocks. The first drawer right here is just my candle center. I can light all my candles anytime that I want. So I have a candle here, I have a candle here, and then I have one more candle right here in this lantern. So this area right here is just the candle center. Nothing in the second, nothing in the third, in this center area, I don't need to keep DVDs because like I said, I digitize all my DVDs. But I keep my backup laptop right there, backup cord, all my cat documents right there, and a very few odds and ends right here. But basically, in this MacBook box, I keep all of my odds and ends. So this is like the miscellaneous box. But basically, I keep all of my command strip things, 
my little rubber nubs that I just showed you, and markers and cords that I might need one day. So basically this is my version of the junk drawer and I just keep it in here because I barely ever need to pull this out. Once you get all your command strips set up, you don't need to keep on putting command strips up. So that's what's in the center. In this top area is the drawer that I use the most. So here are the recipes that I don't use that often, but I still want a physical copy of. And then I have my gift wrapping baggie that I showed you in my gift wrapping video. Batteries, light bulbs, and some of my camera equipment like my digital recorder, scissors. Second drawer down, I just keep snacks or things that I don't use and I don't know if I'll ever need. So these things I rarely need, so I'm not gonna let them clutter up my kitchen. Back up spices or spices that I'm not sure if I should get rid of. And if I didn't have so much space right here, if I lived in a really small apartment, then I would just get rid of all of this. Here I keep clothes that is off season. So we're just about starting spring, so I'm taking all these clothes out. I'm gonna put them in the closet and put all my winter clothes down here so all of my winter clothes will fit in this drawer. I can also keep these underneath the bed. This is easier to reach and since I have so much space, I may as well make use of the space. I really like this memory foam chair. It's very comfortable. And then right here, I keep any mail that I need to get to. And this is from Target, but it's spray painted white. And up here is a clock that doesn't work that's really just used as decor. If I'm going to watch a movie, I'll get the fur blankie out. I'll put the chair back and it's extremely relaxing to be able to watch any DVD that I want. And so I really, really like this couch. And I really recommend just using blankets instead of pillows in the living room if you really want a streamlined, minimal experience. So just one last overview of the living room area. I hope that you got some tips that you can use for your own house. Maybe putting a remote behind the end table with some command strips using a cord box perhaps, or trying out some modules in the living room area and making use of your space, going completely DVD free and digitizing, maybe making a coupon center by the door. I just like to keep it as minimal as possible and as relaxing as possible. So I try to keep everything a nice dark color and not too white in the living room so the guests really feel at home and they feel like they can relax. And I really recommend a couch with cushions that don't move around and with a footrest so you don't need an ottoman taking up any space in the living room if you can manage a rug would look really nice as well in the living room i hope that you like this living room tour and don't forget to subscribe so that i can see you next sunday